to register for non-credit courses with Merced College, you'll want to visit Merced College's website at www.mccd.edu. Once you've arrived to Merced College's website, you'll want to log in to your student portal by clicking MC Portal on the right-hand side. Once you click on there, you'll be asked to enter your username and then your password. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to select the non-credit courses that you want to register for by clicking on Web Advisor for Students on the right-hand side. Click on Academic Planning, select Student Planning, and once you arrive to the new menu, click on Go to Plan and Schedule. On Plan and Schedule, you'll be able to view what non-credit courses are available by selecting the semester that you wish to take them. You'll click on the arrow to toggle to the appropriate semester. And to view all of the non-credit courses, you'll want to go into the search button on the right-hand side and type in non-credit. Once you enter non-credit, then you'll be able to see a list of all the non-credit courses that you can register for. Courses that have sections that are available for registration can be found with the gray bar. Courses that do not have a section for registration do not have gray bars. That means that those courses are not being offered. Now, you will want to find the appropriate non-credit course that you wish to take. If you have an interest in taking an ESL course, you'll find that course in the listing. Click on the gray bar. And if you wish to narrow it down specifically for summer, you could do so by selecting Summer 2020 on the left-hand side. And then you'll be able to see the specific non-credit courses that are offered for summer. For this particular student, they have an interest in taking the intermediate ESL in the summer. We'll click on the gray. You'll be able to see the courses that are offered in the summer as non-credit. Find the course that you have an interest in. You'll click on Add Section to Schedule to add it to your planned courses. You click on Add Section again. And when a course has been added to your list of courses to register for, you'll get this indicator on the right-hand side in green saying it now has been added to your course. If you wish to register for the course, click on Plan and Schedule. On the left hand side, you'll then click on the arrow button. And then you'll notice that that course is now in what we call the shopping cart. To click to register for the class, you'll want to click on register either on this side or register now on the top hand side. If you have more than one class that you wish to register for, you'll want to use the register now button because it will allow you to register for both classes at the same time. If you're not sure if that's the right class, you can also see that it's listed on the bottom. When a course is in yellow on the bottom, that means you're not yet registered, but it's in the cart to be registered for. Let's click on register. And once you click on register, if you're able to get a spot in the course, it'll turn to green, just how it just did right now on our screen. If you have an interest in taking another course that's non-credit for the same term, once again, on the search button, type in non-credit. And we want to narrow it down by the specific term, which is summer. And if you have an interest in taking the citizenship class, for example, click on the gray bar to show you the different courses that are offered in that particular area. So this course starts July the 1st and it ends August the 6th. It'll indicate that in the course and it's held in Chowchilla. I want to take this course. I'm going to click add section to schedule. I'm going to add it again. And then I got the indicator saying it's now in my cart to be able to register. I'll go back to student planning, plan and schedule. And I need a toggle till summer of 2020. 
to notice that this course is now in my shopping cart. You click on register. Remember it's yellow right now. Once it turns green, that means that you have now been added to the course. So these are your two classes that you're registered in. Another way to double check that you're registered in a class, click on timeline, and you'll notice you have two check marks in, that, in those courses. I hope that this video was informational on how to register for non-credit courses.